Scotty Bowers may look like an ordinary man, but in reality, he's someone who's lived an extraordinary and exciting life. Scotty Bowers' best-selling book, Full Service, My Adventures in Hollywood and the Secret Lives of the Stars, tells his story of his unique relationship with many of the biggest Hollywood stars of the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Positive Spin spoke to Scotty Bowers after a recent premiere of the film. I'm worried you won't hear you. So this is about the Vice Squad in the bad old days, and did Scotty have any trouble with the Vice Squad? Project your answer, Scotty. <laughs> Not really, because I only dealt with people I knew well. Uh, the Vice Squad stopped persecuting gay people approximately in the 70s. At least it wasn't as bad as it had been before. And uh, the whole racket and extortion ring, it's so shocking to think that the Los Angeles Police Department was doing this. Uh, and it was very interesting to me how Scotty operated. It was a very personal uh, assurance that he knew everybody and he was the connector and that was really your insurance policy because if you put one foot wrong, of course, you could end up in jail, you could get fired, or, or really worse. I mean, the, the consequences were so terrible which was one of the motivations, really, for making the movie. Uh, it's a huge step forward in civil rights. A little bit about uh, yeah. what inspired you to make this film? Uh, well, I mean, I think we need amazing LGBTQ stories, and Scotty, 95, still going strong, is the unsung legend of this world, and it's incredible that he told this story in this book, and uh, now this movie, which is just coming out, and I want to spread the word about him and about the incredible kind of secret world that we access through his incredible memories. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here, guys. Sure. Mm -hmm. Have you guys thought of doing something with that guy, Scotty Bowers? <laughs> Scotty was a revelation. Scotty is a phenomenon. Legend. He serviced a lot of people. That's what you call business, baby. <laughs> People are very invested in the establishment view of movie star history. The strict moral code that we associate with Hollywood was a very traditional viewpoint. The movie stars were just good, honest, law-abiding citizens. It turned out there was a whole alternate world to which most of us had no access or knowledge. Scotty Bowers. He had this gas station and he supplied men and women to the various Hollywood stars. People disappearing up in the trailer and doing this and that. The whole thing was fun. <laughs> People wanted something, Scotty would get it. Cole Porter would say, can you bring 15 guys one right after the other? I fixed Catherine Harper up with every bit of 150 girls. I've been with Harry Grant Lockhart, so Charles Lawton at Frank Sinatra's house. I had a three-way with Ava Gardner and Lana Turner. There was a whole network of folks waiting for someone like Scotty to come along. He wasn't simply this madam called for events. Scotty's revealing that these people were real, flesh and blood like us. It can add up to an awful lot of people, we into the thousands. I didn't know him then. I don't know him as that person. Not sure I want to. <laughs> I went in the Marine Corps in World War II. Scotty was in horrific battles. In Iwo Jima, we had 7,000 guys killed. It made me happy to be alive. He's warm, he's caring. He likes to make people happy. The world was different then. If it became public that you were gay, you would be immediately fired. They could go to jail. Scotty was able to allow these people to have lives. Dr. Kinsey interviewed me, saying you ever had sex with a girl? Yes. How about with a guy? Yes. Would you do everything? But somebody's square think you're weird, you're different. <laughs> I did the book to show that people are still people. Don't you think you misled their trust by writing a tell-all book? What's wrong with being gay? But thanks anyhow. We are now embracing where the motto is, do your own thing. Scotty was doing that when it was not culturally acceptable. If it wasn't for this guy, I would have sank. I often think back of how nice things were. I felt good that I made so many people happy. <laughs>
be together, yeah. and think together, seems to be easy or, or don't be getting involved right. at all if you want to fuck it up. And I right. Love together, right? Yeah. One of the right, nice completely. Yeah. We were presented just two days ago. Oh, yeah. And people have different interpretations, and it gets kind of sensational. And you're so right on how you think and feel. So thank you for that. I wish more people felt that way.